One question that many students uh, ask is, why is the growth or the decay factor in an exponential equation equal to 1 plus the rate of growth of decay? So you have an equation of this form um, where A is the initial amount and Y is the final amount and X is the unit of time measured usually in years but any unit of time that suits your uh, problem is just fine and then B is the growth or decay factor the growth or decay factor now if we say that the rate of growth let's call that P why is it that why is it that B is equal to 1 plus P where we will interpret P as positive if it represents growth and negative if it represents decay let's look at two uh, examples one of growth and one of decay the foundation of your house is about 1200 termites the termites grow at a rate of about 2.4 percent per day what will the population of termites be in five days so this is to say y is equal to a b to the x now in this case we know a to be we know a to be 1200 and we know x to be 5 in 5 days and b well b will be its growth so it will be 1 plus 0 0.024 we express this percent in decimal uh, form so this is just y is equal to 1200 times 1.024 raised to the fifth power and whatever number that is that will be the population of the of termites after five days let's consider one of a DK uh, you buy a new computer for two thousand one hundred dollars that's uh, the initial amount two thousand one hundred dollars the computer decreases it decreases by forty five percent annually that's the rate of decrease, the rate of decay. Uh, what will be its value in three years? Well, this will be one minus because it is decreasing, it's decay, minus 0 0.45. We're measuring time in years now, raised to the third power. In other words, y will be equal to 2,100 times 0 0.55 raised to the third power whatever number that is that will be the value of your computer after three years but what about the general case if you have an equation an exponential equation of this form why is it that the growth factor is equal to 1 plus p where p is the rate of growth or the rate of decay well, one way to look at it is that after one unit of time, say after one, yeah, one year, after one unit of time, after one unit of time, uh, y will be equal to a times b to the first power. But that's just a times b. That is just a times b. And another way of looking at this is after one unit of time, the final population will be a will be a plus plus whatever you had at the beginning times the growth or decay factor which we are calling p we factor out the a we see that this is just one plus p and now combine looking at these two parts of this equation we can see why since a times b equals a times one plus p that B is indeed 1 plus B. Thank you.